Hello there and welcome to the Clothis. Usually I do say good morning, but I wasn't able to get this out this morning and the Lord has really impressed it on my heart and the timeliness of this. So afternoon it is. Good afternoon. Um, first thing this morning when I woke up, the Lord reminded me of Paul and the Damascus Road experience that he had in his conversion. And the church is undergoing a Damascus Road experience, just like Paul, where God is bringing an awakening to people and being put in their face of, is your loyalty to your church, your denomination, or is your loyalty to a political party? Because the Lord is looking for loyalty to the kingdom of God. We are the people of God and we are called to be the kingdom of God. And that is where our loyalty is supposed to be. Romans, in Romans 14, 17, we are reminded that the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. We are called to be this people of God. We are called to be the kingdom of God. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, we are to humbly walk in righteousness, in peace, and in joy. And as I was praying, the Lord also spoke to me and said, lift up holy hands. You, brothers and sisters, are covered in holiness. And when you humbly repent, when you humbly take yourself to the Lord and repent and receive his forgiveness and love, then you are covered in the blood of Jesus and you are covered in holiness. So the Lord says to you, lift up holy hands. And in that, surrender yourselves to the purposes of God, loyalty to the kingdom of God. Lift up holy hands, surrender. We must surrender ourselves to the purposes of God. Let it be according to the word of God. Because God's word does not return to him empty. It does not fall to the ground. So we need to walk in the purposes of God. Walk in unity with him, with his kingdom, because his word won't fall to the ground. And we have been invited to be in that, to be with him in his word. So 1 Timothy 2.8 says, I want men, and we're going to include the women as well. I want my children in every place to pray, lifting up holy hands without wrath. And so God or dissension. And so God is calling us to lift up our holy hands, but in that it is a sign of surrender, giving everything we have to be the people of God, to be the kingdom of God. So church, I want to encourage you today to humbly go before the Lord, humbly repent and go before the Lord and lift up holy hands and say, Lord, I surrender to you. Let it be according to your word. I give you my life. I put it on the altar for you, for your purposes, for your plans, and for your glory. Because when we decrease, the Lord and the power of God will increase. Let us be the kingdom of God. Let us be the people of God. Let us be loyal to the one and only living God. Have an amazing day and God bless you.